So when he decided to, to build a school, it's just another aspect of development. Before Gavi, there was no red, black, and green. Gavi came and gave the red, black, and green. We give them God for greater than Gavi is here. You know what I'm saying? 925, Gavi gave the black American open pride with red, black, and green. We come and give the green, going and red with a lion, man. Strength, a purpose. <laughs> I've been a member, foundation member, from the inception, you know, uh, 1983. It was founded by Abuna, Abuna Emmanuel Fox. He's a spiritual leader of the church. First, we promote that it is wrong for a man to leave a woman and go with a man. It is wrong for a woman to leave a man and go with a woman. We don't like criminal. People walk and steal because two commandments was given to man. First, be fruitful and multiply. And second, sweet of one bro, one should eat bread. Those are the criteria we put emphasis on. Over the years, they've been doing uh, agitating for Rasta rights, you know, from London to New York to Jamaica, while some other Rasta, you know, might go on other different avenues, you know. You know, you stick to it, you know, the church, you know, and the political party because it's essential. Well, the church applies the last of the first, it's for the people, you know. It is growing, it is growing, you know, but each time, you know, the Virgin will realize, you know, the whole situation, you know, that it's not. You're not back bush thing, you're not bush, you can't go to the bush anymore, you know, because it's modesty, crowned in a chapel, you know, in, in, in a church, you know. Ethiopia is, is occupied by the, 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 the Marcus, the Marcus Leninist people, you understand, who doesn't entertain modern Ethiopianism, the Salaman dynasty. It has to be restored for repatriation, because at this point of time, they are flying, they say it's a flag. It is not to open the flag, which was given to us by His Imperial Majesty. Until we have liberation of Ethiopia, restoration of Dennis Safaisley first, there is no repatriation. I can't live in Ethiopia, I'm, I'm wanted by the Ethiopian government. Because I'm an activist, I'm a Rasta politician. Rastas of some have felt that, that involvement in the, in the political process in this country is the surest guarantee of um, being able to accomplish the goals of Rastos, particularly the repatriation. Now if you read the Bible and you believe in God and you know the Spirit of Jesus lives on and was revealed in His Imperial Majesty, and you believe that, and you believe that Ethiopia is Mount Zion, you would want to be there. I've been to Ethiopia myself, the inspiration of um, 12 tribes of Israel. And as a member, I used to pay 25 cents, just like every other member. And those monies would be used to buy tickets to send those brethren and sisters who were in line to go to Ethiopia. And we usually go to the airport, put our banner, sing the Ethiopian national anthem, and watch British Airways leave, leave with them. The 12 tribes considered it a program of action, um, that it had the means to uh, seek to to, to, to send its and uh, repatriate its members. There is a big community in Shashamani today because I have been there myself. You know, and let me say, repatriation is not what a lot of us Virgin and Sisters think. Because let me tell you, you have to be able to repatriate yourself. You shouldn't have to wait on anyone to repatriate you. But in the event you can't, hopefully there will be a, a system in place that will be able to help those who can't. You know what I'm saying? But in the meantime, people have to get themselves ready and make the move. Why do you think you have your line? Your line, you fly go there and you buy your line ticket. You save your money and you do what you need to do. Don't sit down and wait for a miracle to take you there because it's not going to work like that. I was walking around there in Ethiopia, looking around, and then I said, where's the nearest hospital here in Shashimani? 
And they said, well, it's six hours away in Addis Ababa. Six hours away. But it's like a vision I got. Something say to me, six hours away? Oh, we need a hospital here. Shashamani is that land that was given to the Ethiopian World Federation by Haile Selassie. So it, it, there's a sentimental thing that is attached to Shashamani by a lot of Rastafari. I was the person who built the first concrete house in Shashamani in the early 60s. I bought the tractors from the pipe of the first person there. I pay the tax of Shashamani. But 74, those people in Shashamani betrayed Selassie. When I, when I said to them, say, listen, go on the ground and walk, fight with the rebels, they said no. After I came back and I organized the nurses of Israel, then we start to go back every year from 1999 to 2002. Every year we go down, pay our airfare and everything, go down there and we do a health fair. And the government allow us to use the, a little makeshift clinic down there to do the health fair. And they recognized the work we did. And so when we asked for land, they said, oh, you have to now become an NGO, be an NGO. It took us like three, four years to get the NGO status there. There's no Shashamani. It's about five acres now. It was taken away by the Omari people. There's no Shashamani. There's bullshit, man. It's all lie, man. From, for the past 20 years, they've been collecting money to be lost. Where the money go? You know, you know and Melis doesn't accept Rasta. So how could I support a Melis program build Shasham, not, not, and hospital in Shasham? It doesn't work that way, man. We really need people to get involved. We need nurses to get involved. We need doctors to get involved. We need all the help we can get. Some will now speak of, of repatriation as a spiritual journey rather than a phys uh, uh, an absolute physical one. A spiritual journey in that you have to, uh, it, it is an in it's incumbent on every black person this kind of repatriation. If you use a rest of foreign first, you, you're repatriated but spiritually. But the physical thing, no, it's out. Until liberation, and the dynasty except the there's no repatriation. So what we're doing, we use the third world as our base, Jamaica's a base, Chile is a base, Ghana is a base, we will train people. Prepare them intellectually and professionally because Ethiopia need skilled people when repression come back again. Whenever time them think is the right time, that's up to them. When the time is right for Jack, at that time, they, well, the time always right because the time is always here. So what are we waiting for to be right? Time is already here. It's here. It has been here. You have to understand the historical trajectory of the Jamaican people, the black Jamaican people, in a context of slavery, in a context of um, resistance against slavery. And along with that, the, uh, the, the resistance against the denigration of Africa, of African, of things African, of uh, the, the color of one's skin and all of that. And it is this that that gave rise to the Rasta movement. Seeing now that the people, you know, the majority are what you, you refer to as Christians, they look upon us as Eden, not realizing that the white Jesus is Polishness. Can you only research that to Michelangelo era? And instead the Bible speak of a black Christ. They have the time also to realize that the black risen Christ is now the lion emperor's last eye. So when we know defend king's last eye, it's like we're trying to tear down their religious principles. I trod up in a Rastafari in all its different aspects. Jungle, we see, we see jungle, you know, we're in the bush, high tall and all these things, right? And there was no concept, Judeo-Christian concept, until you come into Kingston and you hear people talk about Christ and these things. And what you find that, because we have maintained that Judeo-Christian mindset, it has not been, it not, has not enabled us to accept African retentions. Most of man will fight against voodoo, and all these things, and revivalism, because him do see these African things. And Christianity don't allow you to accept other cultures that is not theologically inclined to Christianity.
the Christian faith is a conqueror of 